more time you spend with your monster, the more clearly you see its face. My monster is the best friend that I've ever had. I don't think the monster wants to be alone. Yeah, the monster wants company. I let it in, I kind of let it surround me. I feed it, kind of. It feeds by like me, other parts of me buying into it. I think if there's this, almost a pleasure in feeding your monster, there's almost that you feel good, it, it feels gratifying in a way to go there and to let yourself sort of sink into it and to, to just enjoy that sensation of feeling awful. I think when there's no boundaries, <laughs> I think if I don't have a fence for my monster, it gets, it starts to roam bigger pastures than it needs to. It just wants everything. Wants more, wants bigger, wants more food, wants more belongings, wants to be the center, be the, under the, you know, the brightest, special at the center of the stage, at the center of the universe. It wants me to fail and let people down. To destroy me, to fall apart, to tear me up, to explode. He just wants to take whatever he wants. By the moment I turn off the light, everything turns off. The mood changes. Um, in a, in a way that's kind of indescribable by anything other than just the way that you f you're feeling. And it could come like a, like a dragon fire. I will never know how big the flame is going to be, how, burn, how much it's going to burn. Monsters don't want things, they need things. Wanting suggests choice, and monsters don't have choice. Monsters need to do things. They need to possess. They need to appear. They need to devour or roar or attack. I don't want to feed it. I, I want it to die. I want to torture it. They're there all the time. They're with us. They're inside us. They sleep beside us. They walk within us and they can appear at any time. I think in the end of the, at the end of the day, it isn't about escaping. Uh, and I don't even think it's about confronting. We all have a reliance on fear. Uh, and I don't think we'd get anything done without fear. Like facing your monster is scary, but it's a way to like be actually alive in the world and like kind of fight those battles and just be there. I have to like find that other part of me that is actually me and like take my brain back over it. Failure is just a step closer to getting better. I guess the monster is part of reality, as being, for being a human, we all, we all have a monster. I learned to minimize it. I learned to live with it. I learned to recognize it, but not necessarily acknowledge it or embrace it. To recognize what I had is good. You should never be able to escape your monster because your monster should forever be ch chasing you in order to push you. Um, and that way, you, you know, what you're going towards means more because it, it's more than a goal. It's, Sanctuary. If I'm able to take my focus from out of inside myself and to a larger scale and see people around me, then I notice that my monster goes away. Once you can recognize your monster as a monster, and I think that's like success in itself, to realize that that part of you is in all of you.